Welcome back heroes to some more Cassette Beasts. Last episode we took down the final Archangel. We now have the whole song which we're going to try and solve a little bit later on. Maybe this episode, maybe next, we'll see. But we also took down the final Captain. And then Lamp was like, Yo, there's no special ceremony, but have you thought about coming a Captain yourself? In that case, if you do, you, you have to fight me. I was like, oh, absolutely, that sounds super fun. So let me get healed up first. And then we'll go take her on. I think, I think it should be doable. We know she has that, like, uh, the Bulletino fun evolution that looks hey. pretty scary. But the Gramophone Cafe always reminds me of my dad. He'd brew a pot of coffee every morning before heading to London for work. So that coffee smell is kind of seared into my brain. Oh, sounds nostalgic. I guess so. Can never tell if I miss my parents. We never had a huge amount in common. They grew up in a different time and a different place. I guess it was a big generational divide. It's not my fault my parents listened to incredibly bad music. When I moved out to go to college, we didn't really stay in touch. That's okay. Hmm, sounds kind of lonely. Ah. I suppose it is. You know, I don't have many strong memories of growing up. I had friends and life experiences, but thinking back on those memories, it always feels like something that was just happening around me. Not something I was participating in. Like I know I've been fully in the pilot seat. I guess I was an uncool kid and an uncool teenager. That's for being an adult. <laughs> well, there's still time to see how I do do at that. <laughs> Maybe I just need to make more friends whilst I'm here in New Wirral. Ugh. No one ever tells you, uh, growing up, that making friends as an adult is hard. I mean, it kind of is, but at least we're friends. It's easier with us. We have, like, a hobby together. A hobby? Yeah, we're looking for a magic world portal. That's a hobby, right? I guess so. <laughs> I mean, I hope we'll still hang out, even if we didn't find your doorway. Of course we would. <laughs> cool. Is that our friendship up again with Meredith? It's a more tired than I thought. Do you think transforming and battling counts as exercise? I guess it's pretty exhausting. Anyway, let's go hang out together and punch monsters and stuff. Hey, we got relationship level 3. So 15% added strength, nice. Ah, oh, that's so good. Alright, so now that we are... Do we get fully healed? Yeah, so now we're healed up. Let's go take on Lamp, which... Uh... Ooh, I think this is going to be a hard battle. We shall see. Oh, you got a rumor? What's your rumor? Aww. Have you heard the rumors? Leader Lamp may have found a candidate for a new captain. That's me. <laughs> That's this rumor of the quest I'm literally about to do. Anyway, let's head inside. Oh. I simply find it difficult to sympathize with the plight of the human race. That's understandable. People can be confusing, unpredictable. Nah, nah I disagree. Humans are not unpredictable. You can predict their behavior very easily, in fact. Human beings will make the stupidest decisions possible in any given scenario as long as, as there is a, even a minuscule short-term reward. <laughs> I appreciate your honest, your honest analysis, Cleo. Humans generally don't make decisions based on the odds. They make them based on their emotions. So do I! <laughs> it is my emotions that tell me that mankind is inherently stupid and will eventually sow the seeds of its own destruction. Well... Well, until that happens, your services in the ranges will still be valued. <laughs> I do like Cleo. Anyway, on to hey. this. Hey Voltsy, something on your mind? So I'm ready to become a captain. Right. Been itching to see what you're really made of. Hope you're prepared to give us your all. Us? Well, I think it'd only be reasonable that my wife gets to help me out on this one. Oh, nice, your wife. Hey. Are you ready, honey? Oh, that's her wife? Ah, oh, yes, dear. Yeah. So this is really shaping up to be the hottest fight of the year. Who'll come out on top? <laughs> you got this one, Voltsy. Come on. Uh, come on, Offworlder. Show Lamp who's boss. Kick his ass, Lamp. Don't hold back. All right, Cleo. Now I was saying I like you. All right. Don't think we're going to pull any punches, Voltsy. You're not a trainee anymore. You're in the big leagues now. Oh, dude, I want that Wilma. Oh, that one looks so, it looks so different. It looks so much cooler. But anyway, uh, I think we'll go sharp edges first. And we definitely got to charge on, uh, on Lamp. Okay. I wonder where to get that thing, it looks so cool. But so far this is looking looking good for us. I wonder if uh, Lamp and Wilma refuse. That'd be really sick. Uh, I guess just got to smack. And charge again, I want to get the double slice. Oh no, of course we miss. Too bad, not too bad. 
That radiation breath does so much. It's four times on both. I've got to get rid of that. ASAP. That is so strong. Alright, let's go for this. Oh no, don't kill me and kill me. Okay. It's okay. It, 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 we, we still got plenty of monsters left. And that bears anything to you. But if we bring out what well, when hit with astral tug tag, astral monsters can absorb and make use of the astral energy left over. Ooh. I don't like that radiation breath. Oh, it might kill Meredith. Chill, 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 chill. Oh my god, that is so much. All right. Paramelian. Oh, we've got a fuse. And we are gonna go for damage roll. Oh, nice. 544. Not bad, not bad. Roll again for Inflame, sweet. Oh, you got a um, Robin down. I'm not surprised, they're actually really good, but let's go damage roll again. Can melt that plastic, make it uh, toxic. Okay, 146, that's, that's okay. We can do better though. Moonshine, got plenty of HP. I will confuse which sucks. Suction cup, dart. I need to heal up. Fusion up. Right, first thing to we'll do, 100%. And then we'll go for another. Actually, maybe we'll go for a fusion power. We might have enough AP. All right, here we go. Oh, we got fusion went for smack. <laughs> okay, next turn we'll go for the fusion power. Oh, you're ghostly. It's alright. It's only for a few turns, but I've got south paw, so I can hit ghosts. So I'm not too worried about that. Oh, I'm confused. I didn't get the chance to do it, but okay, damage roll. She has three monsters. Oh, wow. Uh, probably more. Let's go. Fusion power. Actually, uh, uh, yeah, let's go for it. Wait, they're fusing. Oh, and your ghost. What, you thought you were the only ones who could fuse? That's really bad. That's really bad. We lost all our AP and you went goes at the right time. But it's fine. Oh, you're defusing. Oh, wait, did you just take yourself out? <laughs> oh my god, that was the worst time to fuse then. Not bad. Oh, not bad at all. You never fail to impress, do you? The stories were true. What a battle. Here, this is yours. Hey, we've got the captain's badge. Looking kind of nice. Nice little bottle cap. This means you're officially a ranger captain. Folks will look to you to help train them just like the other captains trained you. You might be aware that I was the first person in New World to have transformed to a monster form with a cassette tape. Since then, folks have been asking me the same question. How does this cassette tape thing even work? It doesn't make any sense. You want, you want to know what I think? I think it makes perfect sense with the right perspective. Humans create art such as music. Art is an intangible and imaginary thing that exists entirely within our collective imagination. Then, we seal that intangible music in physical forms, such as a cassette tape. That makes it a perfect bridge between the physical world and the imaginary one. Uh -huh. I think that makes sense, in a way. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. You've seen the notice board outside the town hall, right? I have. If there are any trainees who need to uh, test their skills, I'll leave you a message there. Uh -huh. For now, I'm going to take a long overdue rest. You can continue your exploration across the island. Why don't you catch up with your fellow captains? I'm sure they'd like to congratulate you on the promotion. Wait, okay. Catch up with each ranger captain. Oh, wow. I feel like that's going to be a uh, sort of fight every captain. Um, let me go from here. Let's go, go to the campfire and then we can find another captain real quick. But that battle was actually great. I thought, oh, it was so bad when, obviously they fused and then had the ghostly hey. ability. But, ooh, the cool thing about the witch house is that like, three other bands had to disband for them to form. Proc Jen fell apart when their bassist left to start his own religion, so vocalist Rob Hansom needed work. 
Drummer Linda Steele had just left the punk trio Bad Horses after a record label dispute, and guitarist Daniel Safety First Buttercroft was the only survivor of a tour bus crash which killed the entirety of his band No Seatbelts. <laughs> so the stars aligned mostly through bad circumstances and they were able to form the Witch House. Makes me think how small the chances are of that even happening. I wonder what the probability of the two of us being here in this moment must be. Pretty unlikely, I'd guess. Hmm. Anyway, uh, let's go and find this captain. I think, isn't it, uh, what's his name? The sleepy one. So we need to go quest log. Catch up with each of the captains. I just want to see if I've got to fight him again. I hope not. But we shall see. You're still sleeping here, are you? Hey. Hey, new guy. New captain, I mean. I heard that you're one of us now. If you want to fight again, I have some free time before my next nap. Are you in? I guess we kind of have to. Oh, let's go again then. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. That's the evolution we haven't seen yet, but uh, let's go to sharp edges. And let's charge Pyromelion. Oh, level 62. I don't think I should be doing this just yet. I think we'll go do the main quest. Ooh, I feel like this is more like sort of... I want to say that's sort of like post-game sort of content right now. Like rematching the gym leaders. Right, bam. Do that. This is going to be a tough battle, man. Uh. It's okay. It's okay. I'll go double slice in a second. Hibernating? Oh, great. That's, that's awesome. I'm just going to get intercepted every time. Sure, fine. As long as you don't go for the um, stupid dice roll, <laughs> it's all good. Because I know how much damage that does. I'm gonna switch. I know what I'm gonna do. And you got the sleep talk off? Isn't it a 1% chance this is higher for you, but. That's insane! Uh, let's go our own Pyromelion. This is. This is gonna be tough. If I can fuse. This. Zed is so hard to beat. No one near doing this, but we have to do that and then damage roll. Let's hope we can get a big number. And now you're berserk. No more being annoying. And you're poisoned. Sure fire, okay. Locked. Oh, is that because you had sure fire on last time? That might be why it landed. That's smart. That's actually a really good tactic. Yeah. That's why it can land the hits. Uh, let's go glass stain. I think we can fuse now. Oh, we're close to fusing. Got to keep spamming this. And... Gonna just have to go smack. We win this battle, it's gonna be... Uh, it's gonna be nothing short of a miracle. They got more cassettes as well. I need to get the fusion going, but we're so close. Our fusion bar, you can see it, so, so close. All right, uh, let's do that onto you, and then... Ice cool dart on you. Not bad. I just want to get rid of that, like, stupid thing. So, like, when it's, like, the first, of, first evolution, that has been one of the most annoying monsters to beat throughout this whole game for us. And now the evolution, this is the first time I'm actually battling it, it's... I think it's the first time battling it. Or at least the first time I can remember, but it's so annoying. Let's fuse. Hey! Oh, I love this. But, uh, yeah, let's definitely spam this. Might be able to finish them both off here. Ooh. Oh, the poison might do enough. I've got to heal up. It's fine, don't kill me, don't kill me. 
Don't kill me. We're fine. We heal. Oh, I want to. I wonder we get that thing from. That looks so cool. I want it, man. Yes, get poisoned, and now you're dead because the poison's gonna finish you off. Have you got more? You do have more. Oh, dude. <laughs> got glass cannon. Actually, we're just going for fusion power. Oh, they're gonna fuse. Oh, that looks cool as well. Just don't go ghostly. <laughs> Toxic sword. Ooh. I mean, didn't do as much as I was hoping it would do, but we got the berserk. Got the poison. And your wall failed. That's all I can really ask for. I'm gonna go for a glass cannon and try this out. Not bad. Now you got your fusion power. Oh, that axe looks so sick. Uh, we've got to heal. So I don't want to fight this thing with two just two monsters fusion versus fusion just feels a bit more fair I think next turn we win I just got more oh, poison nice we got a nice little uh, nice little smack gonna have fusion power but just in case you got another two monsters Nope, that's it. Sweet. Yeah. We've got to be pro make sure we... Oh, we got a lot of experience with Meredith. We've got to make sure we are prepared if we're going to fight the other captains. Lost again? This is why I don't trust the waking world. <laughs> oh, dude, that was... That was tough. I do like that that um, that strategy though, of going to sleep and using the shore fire to make sure you're guaranteed the hit. All right, sorry, what's the rumors? Lost Dog. I'm going to try that one next. Alright, need, need to go... I'll get healed up first. And buy some potions because it's going to be a little bit low. Whoa. Surely, Felix, you have longed for freedom upon the seas? To sail to lands that are not yet even a splinter upon the horizon. <laughs> well, finding freedom in my life is important to me. But sailing the seven seas isn't entirely what I have in mind. Working for myself and living on my own terms, though. That sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> Perhaps you'd also uh, find fulfillment on the sea. You will never truly know for sure without setting sail. <laughs> I suppose not. I do. I don't like the sea. That's a uh, yeah, definite no-no. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's get a few of these and... Mm. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here. So it's at the foot of the mountain, right? And this, where this dog is. Alright, so we want to go whoop, this way, up we go, a bit more to the right, so around here somewhere, is that it? No, there it is, hello, you look adorable, ah, oh, there's a dog, it's a friendly dog, I'll extend your hand to let this dog sniff you, you check its collar. The dog's name is Barkley. <laughs> I think of um, Modern Family now, the, the Barkley butler, but it's a miniature tape recorder attached to his collar. There's no information about its owner, other than a 22 digital telephone number. Barkley must be stuck in New Rule too. Oh, can we keep it? Barkley's looking up the cliff and whining. He must want to go up. Uh, you can get up there with your comment blue. Will you go with him? Yeah, sure. I lock Barkley as your new partner. <gasps> no way! Wait, pom bomb. Oh, it's an ice pom bomb. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, like, I I do love Meredith. She is my favorite. But that being said, I got a dog companion. I'm having the dog. Oh, he gets a little balloon. Ah, so cute. Oh, I love it so much. But I didn't have any trouble getting up the cliff. It seems like he just wanted to, someone to accompany him. Oh, it's so cute, man. Oh, this is the best. Are we, are we going in here? I guess so. 
This is the cutest thing ever. Oh. Oh. This looks cool. Oh, that looks very cool. Is this like a legendary? That's gotta be like a legendary. Oh, we gotta catch this. Right, uh, let's go, go for a little spit. This thing is so cute, man. Like, I wanna keep, I'm gonna keep Barkley. All right. Oh, off, off. Oh, it's gonna fuse. Hey, <laughs> confuse with a <the> dog. <laughs> Shining bomb. I wanna say, uh, can I record this? I'm gonna, uh, once it's lower HP, I'm gonna uh, unfuse and see if I can. I didn't know if I could record it or not. Hope so. This thing looks really cool. I might put this in the team if I can get it. Like, I really like the look of this. Oh, it even gets like a little tower. Can the tower defense become earth type and have raised defense stats? That's so sweet. Oh, this is like, the best thing in this game, 100%. Didn't think it can get any better. And it just does. Oh my god, it's so cute, these little balloons. Get up, oh I love it so much. I love it so much. All right, I'm gonna keep going for these uh, double slices until a little bit more. And then we'll unfuse and see. Maybe maybe one more. Love the music, it's so good. Right, I think that's probably low enough. Let's uh, defuse and see. Oh, I can. Nice. All right, we're definitely gonna get this. I should move a Earth type one ceramic. Yeah. Try that. Just go for a spit. We gotta train up uh, this dog 100%. Proper chop. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Relax. I gotta see how the dog tries recording the um the monster. All right. So let's go double slice. I'll have to go chrome tape. Oh, it's so cute! Look at these good little headphones on! What's in its mouth? Oh my god, this is so cute. 6%. I managed to get the uh, the glitter one really low, didn't I? I got like 19%. Just gotta keep trying. So let's go chrome. I'm gonna switch into something a little bit stronger actually. Let's go southpaw. Eleven percent. Sonic boom hits both, doesn't it? That's gonna make it go down a bit more. Yeah, to seven. Yeah, I don't get that lucky. But luckily, we got plenty of chrome tapes. I'll go double smack. Maybe go pyromelium. Just try and get like a dice off and get like a high number. That might do a big damage to maybe get the number up bigger for us. 19%. I think 19 was the highest I got last time as well, so this might be... If it is like the legendaries, the 19 might be the highest percent you can get with Chrome. Wait, who did uh, we lose? It was... Yeah, it was uh, Cat 5, wasn't it? I do like Cat 5, but... I want to use the Ice Pom Pom. Just evolve it and see what it looks like as well. Come on, come on. Got a 22%. Oh, come on. It's definitely doable. I did it, but it's gonna probably be here for a while. Bam, bam. Oh, got crits in. Come on. Higher than 22. Got 24. Still failed. I do like you can't kill it when you're uh, trying to catch it. That's very, very nice. Let's 
smack me, that's fine. For that crit, I reckon it'll be 22. 21. If we keep going, if we keep going like 20%, surely like, after what, five, six attempts we should yeah, statistically get it? Come on, come on. Give them crits, want a higher, slightly high number. 22. Yay, there we go, we got it. Got an achievement, that's got to be like a legendary. Oh, that's so sweet. So, Arua is almost a mythical being, having only been sighted a dozen times in the entire history of New Rural. Local legend says that the planet clasps it in its beak can cure any illness and grant eternal life. Not that anyone has obtained it to prove it if it's true, of course. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow, okay. You can now press A again while gliding to gain a boost. Ah. Sweet. Okay. I'm getting a little boost, eh? That's really cool. Do you just want the bone? It's like human bones. Among the bones is a dog leash and some treats. Oh, I guess the owner died? Barkley digs a big hole and the pair of you bury the bones. Oh, it's so sad. Afterwards, Barkley gives your hand gives your hand a big wet lick. Barkley is best dog. Fusion with your phone, Barkley, now 5% added strength. Sweet. Oh, it's so sad. So that little boost is a little jump. Okay. Right, so now, don't want to be doing that quest. No, not yet. Do this. So this is the song. So if you wish to, okay. So you must rise to the task at hand. To the west your wings must fly, to the place only I have known. That is where my chamber lie, halls now empty and alone. Venture there and head northbound where your wayward path shall meet. Where towering trees spring from the ground and dark grass bows beneath your feet. An altar of stone in this land, atop it is where you must be. The place you must now stand and face four directions around thee. You know this act and its location to sh show to you the final station. So we need to find a station around here. Right. Uh. Nice. Oh. Off we go. Go, go, go. Uh, which way do I want to go? I. Don't know. I need to start making my way up this way, I think. So we hit that. That brings that down for us. All good. Mm, so let's go across like so. Whoa! That was close! I'm gonna break that. That brings us up. So this is where we got to last episode. Whoa! Okay, that was close. So we need to find something around this bit. I think maybe go to the lighthouse? There's supposed to be a lighthouse around here somewhere, right? Actually, there's a campfire. Let me put this um, new monster on the team. Tape storage. Wait, you need to go party. Ooh, who to replace? I don't want to replace our star. I don't want to replace Shining Kuniko. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I love Glass Stain. I do. But I feel like this thing is going to be so much better. Half of mine put Tokusek back on because how much I love it. Where is it? Ah, there. Okay, and then if I go... Um, I think I have some upgrades. I should use this. Get me to what? Like 60... Let's get 65 then we'll use it on Barkley. Get Barkley to 63. Oh, I need to heal up as well. Don't I? Oh no, I didn't mean to use it on me again. Oops, my bad. Right, upgrade. Uh, use it on you. 
Actually, should we use it on um, Pombon as well? Am I going to like evolve it or remaster it? Got two left. Do another one on Pombom. And then last one. Alright, now we're just going to rest up. And we've got to figure out what we are doing. So we've got that slap there. Does did the thing say anything about the slab? Oh, I still can't remaster it. That's fine. So we got this thing. I assume I maybe want to go up. Probably a bit cheesy if I manage to get my way up there, right? Alright, so let's... Because I came through here before. But... I uh, I went right, didn't I? Then I went found the other part of the um, mountain. Let's get away from this. So we want to go this way. Can I make that jump? Oh, with a little flying bit. Oh, I can, but oh, dude, got a fusion. Suspec. Let's go sharp edges, and then we will definitely switch. Hmm. Paramelian. Get them sharp edges, sweet. And then we go smack ya. And damage roll, come on, big damage. Give me a 20, give me a 20. 20, 20. Got 11. I mean, 11's that's still good, still good. Actually still pretty decent. Double slice, damage roll. I know you're gonna probably make the steam to get healed up every turn, but I feel like if we get enough numbers, we can probably take you out. That's a free. <laughs> oh, why is it when this like move used against me, it does like insane damage, but when I use it, I very rarely get a high number. If I do get a high number, it also misses. Oh, just, just my luck. Okay. And this should... Oh, wait, no, I healed up, didn't I? This will finish you off. I'm not going to damage roll just yet because you're going to split. I really thought... We'll be fine, but... It's... Guess not. Oh, no. Okay, that's good. Roll again. i got to love that passive. Oh, that's evolution? Oh, I like that. I really like that. Makes me want to use it now. <laughs> Man, it's always like, I see something and I just want to keep changing my team up. Oh, that's good damage on Ice Peck. There's a Zeus Oh, maybe I can catch it. That was close. Nope. Oh, wait, it's good. That roll again. If that attacked again, that would have been bad. Right, uh, let's record. I guess just go for a chrome tape. Yeah, yeah, let's do that, yeah. Chrome tape. And then damage roll. 52, if we get a high number, that's definitely gonna go 100% surely. 16, that's high. Oh, dude, come on, we miss, I told you. Never get a high number. I miss. <laughs> just dip, I mean, I guess my actually is down, so it makes sense, but 24%, there's no way I get that lucky, you know. So I'll go double slice while your accuracy is super low. Try us again, shall we? Go on, Barkley. Ouch. It's 23, but I'm going to go and I double slice and might go up a bit more. 54, come on. Hey, we got it. Let's go. So how many have we got now? 81. We're doing good, man. We're doing very good. In terms of getting the monsters. Only 39 more to go, and then we got more. I'm pretty sure if we evolve a few in storage, we could probably get to about 90 right now, maybe a bit higher. Oh. I love that as well. 
That's so good. Wait, what's this over here? Oh. <laughs> so that's what that's for. But we don't need that because we, uh, we find our own way. Up we go. Oh. Is that what we want to go to? No idea. Looks a bit suspicious though. Oh, the final station, we found it. You know what that means? I'm gonna end this right here. Next episode, we are gonna go inside the final station and maybe finish the game off, potentially. I don't know. But I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.